Patients suffering a stroke need to be treated quickly, since the blood supply to the brain is interrupted. Nerve cells die off after just a short amount of time. There's a risk of permanent damage or even death. A patient's prognosis significantly improves when the hospital treatment takes place in a specialized unit, a so-called stroke unit. Professor Armin Grau from the Neurology Clinic at the Ludwigshafen Rhein Hospital explains what technical equipment belongs to a stroke unit. German stroke units are all set up like virtual semi-intensive care units. This means there are monitoring stations for all patients where blood pressure, pulse rate, respiration rate, body temperature and much more are very frequently being measured. These are monitoring stations specifically for stroke patients. Since treatment is very critical in terms of time, Early steps in diagnosis are already made in the emergency room before the stroke unit staff begins with the treatment. When a patient arrives at the emergency room, we ask him or her a few brief questions. If the patient is not able to respond, we ask the family members. We take a blood sample from the patient, do a CT scan, and then start treatment in the stroke unit. In individual cases, we provide lysis therapy, a resolutive treatment. In some cases, the vessels are illustrated during this early phase. During the next few hours at the latest, there will be an angioplasty at the stroke unit and subsequently also a heart exam. These days we primarily perform a color duplex sonography. The vessels are shown with an ultrasound probe. The frequencies increase when the arteries are restricted and there is turbulent blood flow. You can hear this on the one hand and on the other it's also color coded via a changed flow pattern. This way flow conditions and thus cerebral circulation can be well illustrated. The treatment at the stroke unit is based on continuously monitoring important vital parameters such as pulse rate, blood pressure, respiratory rate, body temperature and much more. We can thus detect complications early on and counteract these complications. In addition, the other important part of treatment is to perform so-called thrombolyses, clot-dissolving therapies for constricted blood vessels in the brain. Stroke units use modern medical technology to provide the best possible treatment. This is why staffing requirements are also essential to set up and operate a stroke unit. The unit needs medical competence, primarily neurology expertise. There either needs to be neurological supervision or it should be possible to quickly consult a neurologist if the hospital is under internist management. We need capable nursing staff, competent therapists, occupational therapy, speech therapy, physiotherapy and we need the correct equipment in the room. Where expertise or the proper technology is lacking, international experts are able to help with procurement. Together with a network from Germany, Stefan von Bademer from the Institute for Work and Technology at the Westphalian University of Applied Sciences Gelsenkirchen, Bocholt, Recklinghausen, has helped in setting up a stroke unit in Dubai. The Healthcare Export Project is part of the Healthcare Management of Rhineland Palatinate Initiative and is aimed at distributing medical care standards internationally. Whereas medical skills are globally available, organizational procedures usually don't exist quite as much, at least in emerging nations and developing countries. And they first need to be set up, so corresponding medical care with products and services can be successful there. A whole network of experts is participating in this project. This ranges from initiatives to public awareness campaigns, which have been a great experience in Rhineland Palatinate, to organizing rescue services, of course stroke units, but also rehabilitation providers and industry representatives who make the corresponding products for stroke treatments available. In Dubai, we first took our cue from where competent neurologists are available. Along with the Rhineland Palatinate Department of Commerce, we contacted the authorities in Dubai, the Dubai Health Authorities, and then also established mutual interest during a joint workshop. Experts who take part in setting up a stroke unit also make an important contribution by ensuring that high standards are maintained. 
A certification based on the German model provides more safety in diagnosis and treatment. The certification is based on the well-established and tested procedure by the German Stroke Society and is also being supported by the German Stroke Society and the German Stroke Foundation. The reason for this is that the Federal Republic of Germany plays a leading role in the world when it comes to this and is actually able to offer the best solution. The stroke units need to be equipped with dedicated beds that are only used for stroke treatment. Continuous patient monitoring needs to be facilitated. There are specified qualification standards for this. There are clear requirements for corresponding process management for practically all procedures from admission to first acute care all the way to the discharge. These need to be developed and implemented to make a certification successful. The United Arab Emirates were not the only ones able to improve medical care for stroke patients this way. Many countries are able to benefit from the German healthcare management experts. Essentially, we need stroke units all over the world. There are 15 million strokes that are best treated by stroke units. We already established a second stroke unit in the Arab Gulf states in Oman, which is also on its way to being certified. With 11 beds, it also represents a very respectable facility.